It's that time once again, lads. It's time for a new say. And you guys voted, and by quite a landslide, Leeds United won. I think one of the championship teams we're going to win anyway. It seems like that's where you want us to start this next career mode. Poor, poor Sheffield United will be waiting a long time now before they're rebuilt, but we are going to be taking over my beloved Leeds United. Now I'm going to make a few promises and disclaimers at the start of this series. I'm going to do my damned utmost best not to let my personal opinions, feelings, values and just pure heart. Going to the decisions that I have to make with this Leeds United squad. That's going to be very difficult. That's why I've never done my own team on the channel before. Now, if you're new to the channel and you're looking forward to the series, hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button, boys. Let's get into this one. Start leaving your suggestions as well for players that we're going to sign most likely in January because we will be doing the entirety of the summer window with Leeds United in this episode. That's going to be the huge for me. Be honest with you, legendary, enable, no international jobs. We're sticking with loose. Why not? And I think we might go four minutes. I'm going to be testing some new sliders to try and get some more realism, realism out of this save. Because I do like that. Building the storylines from the championship. I love the Blackburn career mode that we did last year. So I really think this one will be a similar vein. I've just got more personal feelings towards this one. And there he goes, the beautiful man himself entering. The Leeds United hot seat. I mean, facts are pretty decent. But it's time for me to take over. Tactical vision? I don't know, you know, lads. I don't know what we're going to go for. I mean, it, it should be Gagan press. That's pretty much how we play. Counter, press the ball, get the ball forward. But I kind of feel Tiki Taka. I want to give it a go. I want to feel like the team in the championship is going to be capable of this. So we're going to start with Tiki Taka. I'm not going to bore you guys with this stuff as per usual. But just so nobody comments and they're like, why aren't you, you know, coaches, get coaches. You need coaches. I'm doing it. I always do it in the background. Just don't think it's relevant to show. Now, the main thing we're going to have to do here as we get to the team is figure out formation. I actually think this is the formation we're going to use, but let's take a look at the squad. like to do it in the squad hub. That's how we roll. 40 players in... Okay. Got a lot of work here to do instantly off the bat. We've got Darlo and Medley. Let's just be honest here from the start. Promotion has to be what we're aiming for here at season number one. Like this Leeds United squad, unlike the Blackburn team I had last year, this is good enough to get promoted season one. And I'm hoping they do in real life. They're looking good for it. It would be mighty embarrassing if I couldn't achieve the same. But we're decent at goalkeeper. We're good at left back as well. Sam Byron will do for at least a season. We'll have to start thinking about his contract as time goes on. And Junior Firpo, I mean, he's a madman, but he'll do for now. Liam Cooper, what a man. His contract's expiring as well decisions to be made there Lorente is out on loan Rodon is in on loan for us who I mean beast Wober, Cock, they're all out don't know if they come back or not in the game I'm pretty sure there's deals in place for at least Lorente and Cock in real life I can't remember Wober, but I don't know if we'll get them back on the game if we do my personal opinion right now is sell them but I'm open to your guys suggestions on whether you think we should keep any of the loan players that are out at this current moment in time when they come back now we've got strike decent Cresswell might see some game time for us he's showing good potential so um I, I'm pretty sure he he could be good he could be good Ailing, obviously oh, Ailing, man this one hurt Ailing has left the club we've got Connor Roberts coming in he's actually had a really good start off the bench uh, Christiansen went out on loan the other way. Jamie Shackleton. Uh, we have there Cody. Now, this is the interesting thing. Will the prospect, Archie Gray, you will love him, by the way. He's in a right back on the game. Do we change him to be an actual right back or do we play him as a centre mid? He, I mean, he's more than capable. Who knows where he will play in his future? Just right now, he's playing at right back predominantly. So... Uh, that is something to think about. Now, as I keep going through the squad, this might be the quietest window we do. We've got Ampadu, we've got Kamara. I mean, two great midfielders. And then Gruev in there as well. I mean, we are, we're stacked, really. When you think about it. on the left-hand side, of course, Somerville. What a man. What a player. Jaden Anthony as well coming in on loan. I, I really like Jaden Anthony. He's not going to get the game time because of Somerville. But, I mean, what a great backup we've got there on the left-hand side. Obviously, we've got Big Willie as well. Left, right, and striker. And we'll be utilizing that predominantly on the right, most likely. Stuart Dallas, contract expiring. Decisions to be made there. Jorginho Ruta, who has just become a beast out of nowhere. There's one thing I have to say about the squad. We'll look at it at the end. It, it is really young. It's a very young squad. But Dan James as well, he's only 25, which is insane. I mean, he will probably start at right-hand side. I think he's been really good since coming back from Fulham. Patrick Bamford, Piro. I mean, who do we start up top is probably going to be the question. Bamford is finding form again. And I am not a Bamford hater. So, but I do love Piro and we spent big money on him. So, I mean, between the two of them, that has to be enough to get promoted. And Joseph, I really like. I really do like Mateo Joseph. So... 
but you could get him some game time. It's going to be very hard this series because I'm going to want to give everyone game time. Maybe I try and play even more games per episode. I don't know. Let me know. Now, I'm pretty sure we're going to be given a, a really good budget here. 38 million. Okay. It's a pretty special budget for the championship. I, I've got to be honest. Let's look at the board objectives, but I don't think we really need to do any business. We 40 players on the books anyway. I don't really want to do any business in this first window. Maybe towards January, depending where we are in the table. Now, brand exposure, get 20 wins in the league. Expecting to do that. And sign a veteran. So maybe we go out and do that. Positionally, we'll have to figure out where that is. They want us to win the championship, which I think is fair with the backing that they've given us at round of 16. We'll try and reach the round of 16. We should probably have the team to reach the round of 16. It's just a really dumb objective. When it comes to starting 11 then, I think for now, Bamford will start there. Rutter behind him. Somerville on the left. And I'm actually going to start Dan James. Nanta will be the backup. Archie Gray will be our starting right back. With Connor Roberts there. Furpo starting left back. Uh, Ampadu they've got at centre back. I mean, I could see that because then it gets Gruev in, in the games. But I think considering the amount of centre backs we have, it would probably make sense to start Pascal Strike because I'm a fan. I mean, that is a very good lineup for Championship Season 1. If I'm looking at where we can improve, I don't know. Because a lot of these players are in alone. We could maybe loan a couple of the lads out. Um, maybe a CDM. So we could go for a veteran CDM because they want us to achieve that by signing a veteran. And if we was going to get one, I think it would be a CDM. And we do have to consider as well, we've only got Gruert there. So I do like four in each position, at least usually. So I think a veteran CDM. But I, I don't actually know... What counts as a veteran CDM? At what age is, is a veteran? I think it's probably over 30. I'm going to go 31. Um, and then we're actually going to pick position. We're going to pick mid. And we're going to pick CDM. Um, and maybe I could go with first team quality. Because, you know, if they're a veteran, they need to be first team quality. And that would secure that position. And that secures veteran. I'm going to start skipping forward now, though. We'll see what kind of bids we're going to get in for some of the players. Uh, but at this stage of this save... With the squad, it's going to be a lot of let's advance forward. So I'll come back if anything crazy happens. Now, I think we're instantly going to see a lot of these kind of transfers come in. To be honest with you, like Archie Gray, Joseph, Kamara. I, I don't really want to let anyone go this first window. And I don't think there's any need to let anyone go this first window, especially for the sake of realism. So although we get a lot of these bids in, they will be going on in the background. Unless there's something that I'm probably going to consider taking, I'm not going to show you it. Now, we're nearing the first game of the season, and that is going to be up against Southampton. We're waiting for just a lot of the scout reports to come back. I'm basically building up our shortlist. We don't have one. We don't have anybody on the shortlist yet at the start of this one, and especially without your guys' feedback being my main scouts. I'm just going to start using the scouting system to build them up. I like to use the scouting system for realism and not go in and cherry-pick players that I already know are good. I find this is how I, I kind of find some cool players and some good storylines elsewhere. The bids have continued to flow in for players, but it's going to be a potential top of the table clash this one against Southampton. They have a very good team for this level, and they'll have been one of the favorites at the start of the season. In real life, it's not kind of worked out for them, but it might still. You never know with the playoffs. And this is going to be a hard team and a promotion side, definitely, in this league. Sulemana on the left hand side. We have to watch out for him. And I am pretty much going to go full strength 11. I'm going to make some tweaks. Because we played some friendlies. And it made me tired. So Sam Byron is actually going to start the season off. And I, I need the decision on Archie Gray to be made. Because even though he can play right back for some strange reason. It gives him a knot to his overall when playing at right back. I, I, look, I don't know why. It's so dumb. Uh, apart from that, I think that's the 11 we're going to go with. And I'll just tweak the bench a little bit. God, I love the fact that Ellen Road is, is in this game. It, oh, it's mind-blowing to me. Absolutely love the fact that Ellen Road is in there. That we had the season in the premiership to get Ellen Road in. It took, what, nearly a damn year, I think, to get it into the game. But I'm so glad it's here. I'm so excited to start this championship season again for the new save. You're looking forward to it. I mean, you guys voted for it. Smash that like button. Let's get into this one. Let's hopefully start the season with a victory. We open in 10 minutes yet. It's been all Southampton, and they'll have the first shot of the game. Mesli 8 is equal to it, though. Trying to slow them down a little bit here because it is all Southampton. But Patrick Bamford's going to pick this one up. He's going to turn the Jets on. And he's going to hope for a ball through to Somerville. And I find Somerville. Now, Somerville is very quick. And he wants to pull it back. Oh, he's done great. Jorginho Ruta. Then back to Somerville. This is a very Leeds break. It's going to be 1-0 Leeds United. Southampton, all the pressure in the opening 10 minutes. But that was just 
the epitome of us in real life right now. That was a very Leeds United move. We break from their corner. Bamford moves it up. Somerville, great play. Rutter linking up so well with him. And he was never going to miss. So the first goal in this season goes to Somerville. I just wish there was a few more player faces in this Leeds United squad. I've had the worst luck with player faces. I know my luck. The next patch will have the Leeds player faces in it. That, that is genuinely the luck we've had in this series. There's a long way to go in this game. But this is a great start. Games now. Got room. Hello, Welshman. Ampadu. Oh, Ampadu disguises that brilliantly. Into Patrick Bamford. This would have to be spectacular. It bloody is. Patrick Bamford makes it 2-0. And really, there's been nothing happen in this game apart from the two moments that have led to goal. And we right now are having a perfect start to the season. I mean, this team for me, especially offensively, is, is just so good. That was a dangerous tackle, though. It was going to be... Get oh, my God. They've been given a red card. What a terrible start. To the season for Southampton, Flynn Downs is off the pitch. Somerville's dribbling though, man. He, he'll he get you. He will get you. Jack Stephen comes on. And uh, the new sliders so far, I'm, I'm really liking them. They're making me play differently. You'll you'll notice the, the entirety of the game is just, it's a little bit more sluggish. I have to be more methodical about the way I move the ball. But players like Somerville feel like Somerville. Oh, it's Bamford nearly breaks through. Well, a pretty much perfect first half for Leeds United. Then it's going to see us two goals to the good Patrick Bamford really trying to stake a claim for that striker role. But the big one is going to be Flynn Downs. He's off the pitch for Southampton. Is there a way back for them? I doubt it. Leicester are losing here on opening day as well. That's a big surprise. A 2-1 down. Does this give us a bit of an advantage? I, I'm going to make wholesale changes here. Just, I mean, simply because we can. Now, Somerville has felt like the greatest player I've ever used on uh, on FIFA. And he's definitely going to be, uh, I think, the highlight for me. Now, I've been thinking about this too when looking at the squad and assessing it. We can give Gelhart his chances. And I, I think I will do this season. But another cam, although we have interchangeables, Rayleigh, because Nonto and Somerville could play there. But another cam could be uh, a position we need. Ampadu, look at that. I mean, he had acres. Roberts lifts it in towards Gelhart. Oh, just beyond the pole. Oh, I really like Perot's running style. Perot's running style is great. What a save, McCarthy. Opening day. We're looking for another. And Joel Perot, the new signing, will make it free. What a fantastic performance. I mean, the nail was in the coffin for Southampton once they had the man sent off. But this surely means Leeds United now at three goals to the good will be sat top of the championship after the opening day. It's a great ball in from Anthony. Nobody, nobody near him. What a header. And the referee puts the whistle to his lips. And this will be a 3-0 victory then for Leeds United on opening day. I'm so happy about this one. I think the red card helped. But we looked really good. I can already tell that this front line is going to carry me this season. I don't know how good the defense are because Southampton literally, once they had the man sent off, they stopped attacking. I don't remember another Southampton attack apart from the early 15 20 minutes so at the game but what a good result on day one let's see if we sit top and we do sit top but what's insane to me is Watford sit right next to us they managed to beat Leicester 3-1 that is a very unexpected result but as I said I think now we might start scouting for a cam as well but we have Ipswich next in the league which is another big game they're going really well in real life pushing leads all the way and Leicester all the way and at the start of this save they started off with a victory so we know we're gonna have to be on our a game here against them we, we just are the same 11 that took on Southampton why would you change anything don't change out if it ain't bro we've changed because bloody hell is it warm England's getting hot again in it lads hopefully another three points here today I can only hope that the start to the season continues because if you can get ahead in the championship, give yourself a few point gap, that is really helpful. And I know Ellen Road's going to be a fortress for us, but it's it's kind of one of those cases of can you make yourselves just really good away from home? He's connected well there with Bamford. Bamford will have a crack. Bamford will have a crack and he'll hit the crossbar. Why not? He's feeling himself. He's on good form. And we know when he's feeling himself, he's bloody good. Does anyone remember him against Aston Villa? Absolutely bodied Tyrone Mings. Beautiful thing to say. Not a big Tyrone Mings fan, have to be honest. But the great start for us. Can we work something now? Jorginho Ruta was in that. Couldn't win the battle. But it is evident early doors here. We're going to see a lot of uh, a lot of similar similarities in the fact that we are going to be very good going forward. We have probably arguably one of the best attacking lines in the championship. One of 
not potentially the best, but definitely one of the best. Right. Patrick Bamford giving us a lively start to the game. It's not looked like much since then. Although that from Dan James was bloody good. Somerville back across. We love it. Dan James again. What a save for Walton. And we're working on James's finishing. It's not his strong point, but oh wow, man. What a save that is from Walton. And I kind of, oh no, I anticipated Dan James scoring that there. That again, though, was typical Leeds United football. If we can keep playing that all season and keep playing that even when we go up into the the premiership because that's what i want to build here that's the philosophy the dna we want to go up they've piled on pressure here early but uh i mean goals win games right bamford oh that was a great touch from Jorginho, but it's going to be dan james again in a good position wolf and then there with a big block man we had him in uh in, in the salford series God, how long ago if you was here for the salford series pat yourself on the back and let me know in the comments might be one of the better squads that we have started a career mode with and i have to be honest a lot of the players suit how i like to play fifa or fc now as we call it so i am expecting to have a lot of success in this early season and then for it to collapse massively when we hit the premiership like the domination i do feel like as the game goes on it's kind of starting to expect them to have one good moment, one good breakaway, one good moment, and be clinical in that moment. That wasn't what they want to do. But a free kick in this position might be exactly what they want. We're going to jump the wall, and Chaplin smashes it well over the bar. Dan James to Bamford. Bamford beautifully. Somerville. Oh, God. who is Walton? Where did they find him? He, he has been unbelievable today. Fawn in my side. Genio. Oh, he plays it. Oh, he's found Patrick Bamford. Bearing down and goal. He's knackered. Patrick Bamford, though. He is on fire at the minute. He's about to leave the pitch because I've made the subs already. But oh my God, Paddy B, I love you. There hasn't been much happen in this game after the first half. We dominated. Pure domination. Because the lads have got tired. We've really struggled in this game and it felt like it was starting to open up for Ipswich a little bit. In my opinion, that could just be the turning point. And with wholesale subs happening... Bamford will be happy to be on the score sheet just before being brought off. And also having his second of the season. Bro, I've stole that. Hero to lift it. Oh, he's done beautifully. Jorginho Ruta on the half volley. Game over. Leeds United 2. Ipswich nil. The floodgates finally open. And we've seen that front line just be a dominant force once again in the second game of the season. It really is looking like this front line is going to bag a lot of goals this season. And 2 0 will be how it finishes. I, and I just think. Back to back, brilliant performances. We were far better than Ipswich in this game, but it didn't look like it for a brief period in that second half. But two goals, thanks to Patrick Bamford and Jorginho Rude to get his first of the season. These ourselves with six points after two games. What a start for the boy. Gonna be Barrow in the Carabao Cup next, then. We've made wholesale changes to the squad because we're knackered. We're gonna win it 2 1. Regardless of me caring about the uh, Carabao Cup, we'll take this, man. Now, we slowly started to add players to our list. And I think I found our veteran CDM. It was going to be Oliver Norwood at first, but a Drissa guy, he's not being renewed by Everton. I don't think he gets game time. In fact, I'm pretty positive he doesn't get game time. And he suits the play style to, to what I want. I think Norwood's just a bit too slow for me. I know 60 pace isn't unbelievable, but Norwood's 47 is, I mean, it's pretty worrying. We're going to go in for a Drissa guy and hopefully this fulfills the veteran situation. I'm not expecting hard negotiations there either. I'm going to offer, well, okay. This is harder than what I expected. What about Sean Dyche? That, I mean, there's just no need. 3.2 then. Will you do it for that? I mean, you're not renewing him. So there we go. 3.2 million. I think this is a bit of a steal. He'll be great for us for one season. Maybe even one season in the Prem as well. Who knows? There's going to be a lot of craziness happens in the summer after this one. This is going to be the calm, boys. Trust me. The calm before the storm. The next one, the summer window in the Premiership. I already know that's going to be insane. Now, I'm pretty sure it's going to be important or crucial. Yeah, that gets me the deal over the line. I don't care if we upset him. That doesn't bother me. But I think it needs to be that for it to be classed as a veteran player. And I can't afford to be sat by the board. I'm kind of hoping he's going to take 25. I mean, that's reasonable. 500k. Okay. It was reasonable. I was correct. And that's our first signing of the series done. It's nothing flash. It's just a piece of the puzzle that I think we need because we're going to have tired legs in the center of the pack if we didn't have this. And a bit of a veteran. We're going to get an A for it.
So I'm happy with that. I didn't get an A. I just lied to everyone. It's just because the controller went off. Made me think I had an A. Now, I think I am going to have to loan out a few players like Perkins and some other players. We've got a lot of players already out of the club, but they're not going to get game time here and I need them to improve. Also, when it comes to Youth Academy, there is one Croatian in there now who might be good, might not be good. We'll find that out in the future, but I need suggestions for you where to send our scouts. We're going to have a big focus on the Youth Academy obviously in this save i need to know where we should send them so let me know in the comments down below and next up will be sunderland obviously they've got joe bellingham kind of have my eye on him i don't know let me know how you guys feel about it but i do kind of have my eye on signing job in this series they've got jack clark and leo helder is it as well ex leads player so i mean there's a little bit of a rivalry there we nearly chose them so i'm gonna play it but we do have a lot of tired legs still we're having games come pretty thick and fast in these weeks i'm actually really happy for stuart dallas to play that position i'm gonna play nonto there and anthony there and i think i've hit the point where i actually need to start resting some of my players i've made a grave mistake here and i haven't been resting them in between games adrissa guy is gonna come in as well gay guy i don't know you guys will and you will correct me if there's anything I'm sure of on this channel, it's people in the comments correcting me when I say names incorrectly. And with what is a mixed bag of a lineup, taking on Sunderland at Ellen Road, they might be starting to question what I'm doing as a manager. I'm probably pushing the players a little bit too far in training. And this is making for a very difficult game here with the squad we have out. You do end up playing a lot of games in the championship. So I actually think because being in a position to have a bigger squad... It is probably going to help me. Now, what worries me in this game today is I don't have Jorginho. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Jorginho has been carrying me a little bit. Knock it back, Patrick. Dallas, maybe. Never mind. Oh, but, uh, who needs Jorginho Ruta? Stuart Dallas back on the pitch for the first time this season. Outside of the foot. Oh, my God. That was stunning. What a moment. Rolling back the years here. Stewie D, absolute legend. Wearing the captain's armband today. I can't believe how good we started this season. I am loving this squad. This is by far one of the best starting squads. I mean, we did pretty well with Spurs earlier, Sean. But this is probably the best starting squad I have had. I mean, we are in the championship, but by far, it is such a good squad. I mean, let's compare it a little bit to the Sunderland squad. Their striker, 70. Jack Clark, 75. Somebody who I wouldn't mind bringing back, but 66. We don't have a 60 in the team. Nowhere to be seen. Dan Neal. I mean, we just look. Player for player. All round, we have a better team than Sunderland. You guys have done me a favor choosing Leeds. Because as if they're not playing Dan Ballard. Uh, we should look at Dan Ballard, actually. I've just thought about that. But you guys have done me a favor picking this team. I don't care if someone in the comments is going, but you're winning every game. The squad is way better than everybody else in the championship. I mean, Leicester probably will be a difficult game. But... When I look at the rest of the teams, maybe Watford, because they, they still maintain some good player ratings. But because of the way player ratings work in FC, we have one of the best teams in the league. And I should be beating these squads. I mean, I, I realized it now pretty early on. My bench players, Stuart Dallas again. Oh, can't this time. My bench players are better than a lot of the Southampton. Southampton, Sunderland, starting 11. Well, then Paddy. Go on then, Paddy. Oh, Bishop stops him. Go on then, Dallas. Mm, I don't know if Bamford can get to that. He can't. Bamford. Oh, I thought that had gone in. I thought that had gone in. So close. Dallas, is he on? Paddy B. Lovely touch. Lovely volley. Bishop, as per usual, in my way. He was onside as well. Timed it perfectly. On the knee and got saved to be fair, but it was near post. That was going to be difficult. Anthony has whipped in a ball in the past that has led to a goal. Oh my god, I, Bishop's going to have so many saves come the end of this game. It's not the ideal plan, but when nobody's got any stamina left, we're going to see Mateo Joseph and Sonny Perkins come on, the youngsters, and Anthony and Bamford are going to come off. The game's got on, tired legs are evidently adding up, and I'm kind of looking at this scoreline and going, yeah, I'm okay with it, and I'm glad the whistle blows. It'll be a 1-0 victory at Ellen Road. We rotated, tired, knackered, I mean... We have to change the training plan now. That's obvious. I've tried to just pound fitness into the lads, which sounds wrong, but that's what I've done. And now I think it's probably time to make a change. But what a massive moment for Stuart Dallas, getting us another three points on the board. Southampton bouncing back with a victory against Birmingham, though. And I think they, they'll push on. It'll be easy running forever. Watford, three games out of three with victories as well. Norwich might have a pretty decent team as well. So 
There's big games to come up. Coventry next in the league then, and the wins keep coming. We're going to see Garner with his first goal, Jorginho Ruta and Big Willie Nonto on the score sheet as well. Now, while doing some scouting, I, I might have. I might have just stumbled upon a really good free agent. Marcel Ruiz can play CM Cam and CDM, so we can determine which position we want to play him in because we, we wouldn't mind cover for both, but Cam is probably where I would prefer him now if his pace is better, his passing's good. He suits, basically, what we want to do. Now, he's playing in the Mexican League, I think, currently. I don't know why he's a free transfer here at the start, but I'm going to go in. I'm going to try and negotiate a deal. And this might be a steal for us. He wants important. I'm going to give him it. Four years. I'm going to give him it. I mean, tell me what you want. We don't even know what this guy's overall is. I can't imagine he wants a lot, but as an important player, I think this may be reasonable. And they're going to be happy with it. We might have overpaid a little bit. This could be such a good free transfer. More than anything, I'm just intrigued at what overall he's going to be. And it's going to be a freebie, which just saves us money for January. And really saves us money for the Premiership. What you guys need to remember is the money carries over into next season. We're going to need a lot of money in the Premiership, I feel like. Because I want us to get promoted and be mid-table straight away. I think we've got the ability to do that with the right place. He's going to be 74 overall. What a steal. Never mind, he's 75. Let's uh, let's go on what we think would be best for him. Defending and shooting, neither are great. So I'm, I'm actually going to go Cam. I think that suits him best for the team. It's going to take him two weeks. Uh, let, let's see how he does at Cam. He's going to be rotating now with Jorginho Ruta. And I just I don't know. I think Gelhart. He's going to go on loan. I know he's been on so many loans. Wanted to give him a try, but uh, he just doesn't have that cutting edge for me. We're looking to be a premiership side pretty quickly. Next up in the league, then is Stoke. It's where Ruiz is going to make his debut, and Somerville will give us a one-goal victory. Unbeaten at the start of this season so far. Unbeaten, lads. Well, we got a loan deal in for Gelhart quickly. It's Fulham of all sides, so I'm going to let him go there. He'll improve regardless of the game. Like, if this was Football Manager, we wouldn't have let him go to Fulham. He's not going to get the game time, but... In game, he will play. Carabao Cup of Bristol City next. Another victory, 4-2 this time round. I mean, as we get a little bit deeper in the Carabao Cup, maybe I do play some of the game. Cannot sniff a cup run, but this might be the biggest game of the season yet. It's going to be up against Watford. They have a hell of a lot of pace in this team. They're only two points behind us as well. It's going to be at Vicarage Road. That makes this even more difficult. But this will be our 11. It's the usual, as you would expect. And this is going to be the final game of the episode. I, can't, I cannot believe... The final game of the episode already. We're going to finish off the window uh, after this game as well. But insane that we've uh, we've got this far. It's gone so quickly. Now, Vicarage Road could be a very difficult place for us to come. And I, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just expecting their pace to be an issue. Our backline hasn't really been tested yet. Mine is like five minutes of the uh, of the Southampton game. It's not been tested. So this might work out, Bamford. That's great. Oh, what a defensive stop that is. Would let Watford go top of the table if they were to win today. So avoiding that is pretty big. Bamford, good position. That was terrible. He's not bad from outside the box, but that was not a good moment for Patrick Bamford. Genio. Oh, he lofts it. He lofts it beautifully. Patrick Bamford this time, though. It's calm, cool, collected in front of goal. And Jorginho knows... He knows that there is someone now right behind him in that position just pushing him and pushing him and pushing him. And that is Ruiz. And I love that. I need that in this team. I need the boys to want to be on the pitch. And what a ball that is from Jorginho. What for it? Bamford, man. My hero. There's at least 60% of the Leeds fan base that hate me for saying that. But I don't care. Right? Oh, this is lovely. This is Leeds United football again at his best. What a block. I'm loving what we are putting out today. No one near him? Oh, off the line. I'm loving the way we're playing, though. I'm loving the way we've got this team playing. I, I really am. Our forward play, disgusting. If we can carry this into the Premiership season, woohoo. Momentum is a real thing in the game. It's a real thing in life, and it's huge in football. Bamford is going for a second. Bamford! Oh, what a save! Well, not the start to the second half we would have wanted. Bamford, I'm bloody down. He could be injured. I mean... We close off that lane very quickly, but I think Patrick Bamford is injured, and I am nervous. I'm nervous. I, I, he's been so good. Perot's had moments, but had he beat? Oh, this is dangerous, though. Why are you giving Jorginho that kind of room? Jorginho, tap it home. Oh, you couldn't. Somerville gets there. Oh, my God. The keeper is a god. Jorginho needs to be clinical in those positions, though. And we're going to have to do it. We're going to have to bring off Patrick Bamford. 
My options on the bench aren't great, but because I want to give Joseph opportunities, I'm going to play him there instead of moving Rutter up. Jorginho has just shown us, to be fair, clean through, that he is, uh, he's not that guy. He's not that, oh my God, Joseph, great first touch. Just can't find anything in the way of a shot. Oh, is that a good ball in? It is. Joseph, it's a hard angle, but I'm going to go for it. And I thought that were trickling in. Well, Jorginho definitely will feel like he should have scored. He didn't. On comes Ruiz. Let's get a first look at him. First action is going to be a whipped ball in. It's great. Joseph's header. Ooh, interesting. I can already feel the difference. Joseph being 64 rated. There, there is a stark difference between him and the other players I have going forward. In terms of his ability to hold the ball up and what I can do with him. I, it's a big difference, honestly. It really is. Semmer. Oh, like this. Well in Ampadu. And that'll do for me. Joseph wins it. Ruiz. Somerville, this time it won't be saved. Joseph wins the ball back and Somerville goes through and makes it 2-0. We're running right at the start of this championship season. We really are. We are unbelievably good. I know this isn't going to last into the premiership, but I'm going to soak this up. Joseph wins it back. Ruiz with a good ball. God, Somerville finally nailing the coffin against Watford. We can relax a little bit. Oh, there could be a consolation though. We're yet to concede in one of these games. That's how well we've defended. And we won't concede now. 2-0. Leeds United beat Watford at Vicarage Road. They should put us, I think, five points clear at the top. The championship season is super long. So this is actually very early days, but... I, I'm feeling comfortable about trying to create a cushion at the top of this table as quickly as possible. We don't want to be a one-season wonder. We already know with this squad, with this budget, we get sacked if we don't get promoted season one. Uh, there's not a lot of time left at the window. I plan on doing no more business. I don't plan on letting anybody else go apart from a few loans. So I think that's where we're going to leave it and then come into the next episode and try and fly through games. I'm pretty impressed with how many games we've got through in this episode to say it was a transfer window as well, but I guess there weren't tons for us to do. But that is going to be it for episode number one. Appreciate you all. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for supporting. If you are new to the channel, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could hit subscribe as we continue to keep growing. I, I love doing career mode stuff and I love starting new series and I'm looking forward to this one. This is going to be a long build with a lot of storylines to carry out. But thank you very much. Take it easy and I will see you for episode number two.